Let's see. Let's see if I'm really live. I like how every one of my live videos is just me being like, am I here? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Can everyone hear me? Hello. I'll just wait till at least one person's like, I can hear you. It's good. It's great. <gasps> I just start choking. <coughs> Hi, Audra. I just started choking because I was re really excited to see you were here. <laughs> Hi, Benz. Audio's good. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to stick with that. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so <laughs> that was so funny. Just remember, if we get booted for some weird reason, I do have a backup video for us. So either way, we're going to do a new workout, body weight, all that jazz. Okay. So today, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what we're gonna do next. So you guys are all set and ready to go. And yeah, uh, I'm so just. Let's get started. Let's warm up nice and easy. Feet out wide, hands on the hips. We're gonna go with some hip circles. All the way around. We're gonna be like SpongeBob SquarePants here. All the way. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, and let's go the other direction. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> For those of you who watch SpongeBob, you'll know what that means. Timmy Tomato, no. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And from here, you're gonna bring your right leg up and then out. And if you can, you're gonna try to bounce it out. So I'm gonna bounce it because I'm feeling very bunny like today and every day. Woo! Keep bouncing it out if you can, or keep dragging it up if you can. We're getting those hips nice and open, but we're also getting that calf nice and warmed up. Three, two, switch sides. Other side, keep it going. Driving all the way up. Ooh, this is nice for standing abs too. So really think about exhaling every time you drive that knee up. Three. Two, one, and toes out wide. We're gonna sink down, keep warming up the calves, come up to those toes. So we're getting inner and outer thighs, we're getting those quads, booty, woo, and those calves. Make sure you have your chest nice and high. Sink down, bring it up, almost there. Let's go two more. Last one, and nice job. Bounce it out, rotate those arms forward. If you're not feeling the bounce today, you can just do nice and easy. Whee! Keep it going. Woo. We are still working out in between these lovely floral couches. <laughs> and bring it backwards. Keep going. Big circles, big sparkles. So big sparkles. Three, two, one, and feet out wide again, arms out wide, we're gonna kick across the body. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. You can just reach as far as possible. Think about exhaling every time you crunch across the body so we warm up that core. Nice job. Yeah. Almost there. Let's go one more on each side. Last one, and butt kicks. So really think about bringing your knees up in front just a little bit so you can kick your booty right in back. Oh, we bunnies. We bunnies today. May the first be with us. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, let's come on down. We're gonna come into plank position. Hands under the shoulders. Press back, down dog. Bring it back into plank. Press it back. Make sure when you bring it back to the plank, your core is strong. We're not dipping that lower back. Keep those shoulders nice and strong. Almost there. Whew. Three, two, one. Alternate driving a knee in. So again, really warming up that core. We use it in every single movement that we do. So we want to make sure it's nice and ready for the chaos to come. Three, two, 
one and flip it around time. Bicycles. Try to reach for that opposite side. Knee. Knee. <laughs> and keep it going. Let's go for three, two, one. Toe touch it. So feet up straight, reach up. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep going, guys. If you can't reach for the toes, that's okay. You can always bend those knees. That's cool, too. A few more. Three, two, one more. One, and let's roll up. Roll up. Up, up, up. Bounce it out. Let's go some seal jacks. I'm feeling it. All right, hands out wide, feet out wide. Clap right in the center. If you need to tap it, that's totally cool, too. Keep it going, guys. Use that breath. We are almost ready to get started. We got one, well, kind of two more moves after this, and then we'll be ready. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stabilize on that right foot. Bring your left knee up, out, back, kick it out, bring it back, down, and semicircle swings. So keep that core strong. We are working stability here. Take your time in this movement. The faster you go with the swing, the more challenging it's gonna be. Keep it up, guys. Almost there. Three, two, and switch sides. Left, or sorry, right knee. This is a right knee catch. Bring it out. Back. Kick it out. Back. Down. Semi-circle swing. Nice and controlled. Fitness is not just about endurance and strength. We always want to make sure we're working balance, mobility, all that fun stuff too. Keep going. Three, two, one. Shaky, shaky. All right, let's get started. So, again, it's going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. I'm going to check the comments one more time to make sure everything's all good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Audra, I totally was like choking on my spit because I was like, she's here. Okay. All right, 15 seconds starting. Now we got three point squat jumps. So we're gonna start out facing the left, chest up, sink down. One, two, three, and all the way back. If that doesn't work for you, you're just gonna go the regular squats. All right, if you're ready, three, two, let's go. Remember to keep that chest up. Don't pull a baby cat. I was reviewing my old videos and I'm like, oh no. I was all like this. <laughs> and I know when you get tired, that's going to happen. But if that happens, I want you guys to modify instead and walk them out. Okay? Form above all else. 15 seconds. Almost there. I kind of want to get started with high quads. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Next up, seven high knees, single leg squat. So we're going to start out. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Stabilize, single leg squat. Come up. If that doesn't work for you, you're going to do a back lunge instead. All right. Let's go. Three, four. Seven, eight, oh, seven, gosh. You remember you could do that back lunge or you can stick with that single leg squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stabilize, woo! And up. Two, three, four, six, seven. Stabilize. Try not to curl your toes when you do this. And you should be on the other leg once you get down with the other seven. One, two, Four, five, six, seven. Sing it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's just something about adding cardio and then having to stabilize. That's hard. All right. Next up, standing tripod transition. Feet out wide. Right hand down. You're going to take your right leg, kick through, and then come back and switch. Okay? So left hand down then, left leg kicks through, bring it up and switch. If this isn't for you, you're gonna do kick-unders in a plank, 
okay? Keep it up. And kick. If you can hover your butt, I want you to try doing that. You just gotta make sure you're stable, you're not collapsing into that shoulder. Keep it up, guys. This is fun. This is getting that core, getting that shoulder, getting a bit of quads. Movement flow, baby. Mobility. Four, three, two, done. All right. Ooh. So, figure four squat, left ankle right above the right knee. Figure four, stabilize, back lunge. If you can't do those figure fours, you're gonna stick with the back lunges. Let's go. Same leg. So we're getting stability here. Mobility, flexibility, all the abilities. <laughs> Keep it going. Getting strength for that quad. Nice and stable, take your time. Now remember which leg that you're stabilizing on because we're gonna use it again. Why not? Why the heck not? <laughs> Keep it going. Woo! 10 seconds. Almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one. So whichever leg you just stabilized on, we're gonna do four pogo hops. One, two, three, four, and then kick across that body <laughs> and touch that toe, just like in the warm up, okay? So try to stabilize the whole time on the right foot, but if you need to tap down, that's totally okay. Right, let's go. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it up. One, two, three, four. Arr! One, two, three, four. Hello, right calf. <laughs> I know you feel it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I do. Keep going. Three, four. Exhale every time you crunch across that body so we get those, those abs. Those beautiful abs. Three, four. Keep up, guys. Ten seconds. Four. Finish it out. Three, four, hop. Last three, two, one. There's some moves that feel like forever, and that was one of them. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go with the figure four squat, come back, and back lunge. I'm definitely less flexible on this side, so it's not gonna look as pretty, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm trying my best. This is actually like 10 times better than it was. So if you've been doing my newer workouts, you know that I've been mentioning, like I've been working a lot of my hips. It's better to work flexibility a little bit every single day, as opposed to working a lot of it one day, once in a while. So if you are in between episodes of Parks and Rec or something, try doing some nice mobility, flexibility for your body. So important. Five, four, three, two, whoo. Okay, so we have that pogo hop and the opposite toe touch, and then we're gonna get back to cardio. <laughs> Some of you are like, this is cardio, and I'm like, yeah. I just wanna make you feel better. <laughs> I wanna make me feel better. All right, so stabilize, you ready? Three, two, one, two, three, four, and good. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, guys. Exhale, cross that body. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, guys. One, two, three, four. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. My left side's definitely weaker in the stability apartment, <laughs> compartment, whatever. And that's okay. Trying my best. I like how my arm is swinging, like, hey, <laughs> let's do this. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, next up, skater with a free throw. So we're gonna skate over to the side, make sure you bring your leg in back. Feet together, act like you have a basketball free throw. Feet together, make sure you bring your arms up even if you don't know how to shoot a basketball. At least bring your arms up. Let's go, stabilize, stabilize. Now if you can't stabilize, you can always tap that back foot. 
That's okay too. Keep it up, guys. Up. Woo. Oh my goodness. Had to tap down. If you want to make it more challenging for stability, you can do the free throw pogo. Switch things up a little bit. Finish it out, guys. 10 seconds. Yes. Woo. Five, four, three, two. All right, plank in, tabletop turn. So, what you want to think about? Come on the plank. Come in. You're going to bring your right hand and your right foot over and over. Bring it back in the plank. In, over, over. All right, let's go. If you can't do this, I want you to stick with tap it, tap it, or just drive in. Keep it going. Those quads should feel this one, as well as your shoulders. So again, make sure you're not collapsing into this movement. Shoulders are strong. That core should feel it too, as we bring our feet in. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> Finish it out. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Well, I heard your quads are hurting, so I got you this quad move. So we're going to go three switch lunges. One, two, three. That front leg comes up, clap under. Okay? You can walk it out if you need to. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Lift. Remember to place your weight mid foot to heel. You still want to sink straight down in those lunges. You don't want to shoot forward like this. Back is flat. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my Lanta, my quads. <laughs> Almost there. Four, three, two. Ah, that was fun. Okay, so next one. A few options. Intermediate, walk down, extended plank. If you want to add more, come down to Sphinx, press up, walk back. Let's go. If you're a beginner, just walk into this inchworm. Keep your core strong. Don't let that lower back dip. Try to do the Sphinx if you can. You can also do one arm at a time, like this. That is another option that's like midway between intermediate and advanced. Keep going. You just had to get those arms, shoulders, triceps. Poor baby. Finish it. Three, two, one. All right. Next up. <laughs> okay. So feet together. Narrow hop. Squat touchdown. Make sure your back is up when you do that squat touchdown. All right. Let's go. Narrow hop. If you need to, you can step it and squat. Okay. Listen to your body. It is the most precious thing we own. Unless you're like, my cat, your soul. Yes, yes, that too. <laughs> you got it. 20 seconds, guys. Whew. Let's go. We're strong. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm so mean. Burpee roll. <laughs> if you have room to roll, go for it. If you don't, just do burpees. So, burpee, chest to floor, roll, come up, and jump. <laughs> this one's fun. <laughs> this one's so fun. Keep going. 
If you want to make the transition a little bit smoother, come down. You can tuck your arm under. Swoop. Ta-da. Amazing. You're beautiful. And make sure you land soft. Protect your body. Whew. Finish it up, guys. I'd like to say this is the toughest lab work that we've done so far. If I do say so myself. <laughs> up. All right. Let's catch our breaths. So we have squat, knee to elbow. So feet squat width apart, fingertips behind the ears, squat, and then go across the body. Can't even think. Okay. Squat. Keep your chest up. Now, if it's not comfortable, keep your arms up here. You can just bring them here. Knee to elbow. Exhale. Standing abs, baby. I want your core to feel this. Keep going. Yes. Now for the next one, we're gonna do a roll back. But if you can't do a roll back, you're gonna stick with the 10 high knee jump rope, okay? So if that's what's for you, you're gonna stick with that. Three, two, okay. So if you can, we're not gonna roll in our neck or our head. Ball up, come up, 10 high knee, jump rope. So pretend you have a jump rope, bring your knees up high. Okay, okay, sure cat, let's do it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel funny showing you my butt like that. So I'm just gonna roll this way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it up, guys. Remember what I said, if you can't do the rollback, you can stick with just ten or the high knee marches or high knee skips. Three, four, six, seven, ten. Finish it out. Use momentum, bring yourself up. Eight, nine, ten. Almost there. We're almost there. Three, two, ha. Oh. Fun. <laughs> I was like, what's next? Jump walk, good. Okay, heel toe, baby. If you can't go this low, you're gonna come up a little bit. Okay, back is flat though. I want your quads. To hate me. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, this is good. Yay! See, this is me letting you be able to catch your heart rate. <laughs> sure. Keep going, guys. We are strong. We're strong ducks. Oh, as I was driving today, there was just like nine turkeys in the road, and I'm like, no, 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 you have all this land. Just get out of the road. Go on now. <laughs> and they kept going back and forth, like, should we just, I'm like, just commit. Just commit to something. <laughs> all right, the next up is walking push ups. So that just means push up, and then you're gonna move, push up. That's it. If you can come, or if you wanna come to the knees, you can. Try to add the walk in still. Now I find it most smooth if I move my opposite hand, opposite foot to transition over. Keep your core strong and because of those walks, it's really easy to press back into the push-up. Make sure your hands are right by that chest. Okay, pressing through the chest to help yourself push up. Press fingertips, palms to the ground, squeeze your core. Squeeze your glutes. Not something you often think about. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. I think it's like one more cardio, then we're in the abs. So, 10 high knees, 10 T arm high knees. So, we'll do 10 high knees and then 10 T arm. We're gonna keep on alternating. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our arms still weigh something. So 
This is mean. <laughs> Three, four, six, seven, ten, five, six, seven. Keep it up. Four, five, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, nine, ten. Keep it up, guys. Six, seven, ten. Almost there. We only have four moves after this. Okay, I'm gonna switch this, make sure I can see what I have written down for us. Okay, so plank position, we're gonna go twist, twist, down, down, up, up, then add two more plank twists, not to the upper body mountain climber. So twist, twist, down, down, up, up. Now it's four twists. Whew. Keep that core strong. I try not to shift the hips. Whew. Keep going. Try to keep those hips straight as you can. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my core. <laughs> my core feels it. <laughs> as it should. Okay. Nine. Oh, shoulders too. I love it. Okay. So, uh, while your shoulders are still burning, feet out wide, hands in plank position though. Press back, reach for the opposite side toe. If you can't touch it, just reach as far as you can. If you want to make it more challenging, have your feet closer together. It's gonna to work your core more, and it's gonna make us have to stabilize a little bit more. Keep going. Make sure that lower back doesn't dip in between. Nice job, guys. Three moves after this. That's not bad. That's nothing. I think I read my timer wrong, and I was like, only four moves left. <laughs> Rope change. Keep rocking it. Keep rocking and roaring. All right. Shoulders should hurt a little bit. All right, single leg bicycle. So we're only going to one side. You know how we did bicycles in the beginning. Guess what? Just one. Just one. Now, if you hover your foot, it's going to be harder. If you don't want to, it's going to be easier. Okay? So. You can alternate. You can also bring your right knee in. That's the intermediate, because you're still hovering. But when you bring your leg out like this, you have to concentrate on pressing that lower back into the ground, because we don't want that curve. Always our lower back's gonna jump in. We don't need that. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep crossing that body. What does it say? 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I might need to modify in this next one. I'm gonna go as hard as I can um, on this side without. And then if my lower back jumps in, I'm gonna bend my knee. Not worth it. All right, let's get it. Whew. The core is up. We only have one move after this. Yes. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. This is something. Keep crunching. Keep going. Push through. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. You got it. We got it, people. Ah, I will not modify as long as I can hold on. 10 seconds, like that good Charlotte song. Hold on. Three, two, oh, okay. One more. Last one, guys. Two spiders, two side plank knee crunches. So, obliques, baby. Spider, spider, get on one side, knee crunch, and knee crunch. If you can't do those knee crunches, you can always just go to the side. All right, let's go. Spider. Spider, twist. Woo. Take your time. 
Doesn't matter how many reps you get in this movement. Whew. Keep going, guys. Oh, we strong. <laughs> we so strong. You can also just stick with spiders if you're just if you're fading. Ah. <laughs> spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Five, four, three, two, done. Oh, oh yay. That was good. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's stretch. Um, let's have our feet out wide. I'm not gonna face the camera face. <laughs> feet out wide as you can. Back is flat. Reach as far as you can. You guys did awesome today. Thank you so much for joining me. You showed up, which is so important. And probably the hardest part sometimes. <laughs> gonna breathe here. Remember, I will be posting this after. So if you ever feel like doing uh, this workout again, remember all the good times of talking about spiders and I forgot what else we talked about. <laughs> I'm delusional. All right, let's take that left foot, bring it in the right inner thigh. Reach as far as you can. Breathe. I like to place my, my hand on my other knee to impress down because it gets a little bit more of a stretch. Now, if you want a little bit more, if your body allows, you're gonna take your left hand, reach to the outer part, that right foot, and then look under. I feel it's all my QL, so the back. Ooh, breathe. And slowly bring it back. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go to the other side. I'm so sweaty. It's so, so sweaty. It's so shiny. Oh. <laughs> We're sparkling. That's what it is. Vampires don't sparkle. We sparkle. We put the work in. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. If you want to, grab opposite. If you can. If you can't, no big deal. Stick with the other one. And slowly bring it back. Nice job. All right, let's come onto the knees. Yay! And right leg forward, press into it. Getting that left hip flexor. Stand tall. We are proud. We are proud that we did this. I'm proud of you guys again for just showing up. It is a Friday, so sometimes that can be very challenging. It's the end of the week. You guys did it. Um, let me know in the comments too. If this time is working out for you guys, if you want to see a different time, let's go ahead, sandwich that foot, walk it back, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And if you want to sit back on that heel, you can. Whew. Breathe, get in that calf. After all the bunny bouncing bunnies, we talked about bunnies, we talked about butterflies, uh, talked about ducks and turkeys. <laughs> so I switched. <laughs> we love animals. Breathe. Breathe here. Woo. So good. One side might be tired than the other. This side is like, the heck, cat? What have you been doing? All right, let's go ahead and walk it back. You don't have to sit down if your body doesn't allow you. Remember, you can always stay up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Breathe. And slowly bring it up, feet together. And roll it up nice and easy. Four, three, two, one. Roll up the shoulders. Whew. Let's get that left arm across the body and pull. Now, if you've been doing my newer workouts, you know I've been really spreading this message around, but it's really important, yes, to fuel your body with nutritious foods, good foods, and all that jazz. But don't forget to fuel your body with really wonderful thoughts, too, about yourself, because what you feed yourself mentally is so important so so important switch um and it might feel weird to like compliment yourself or say like hey i look good or like i like this about me um you know we can't change our thoughts so if you think something negative you know you can't change that but if you follow up even if it feels if it feels weird to say something positive about yourself it helps you are in control of your life go ahead shake it out even though during these times especially it doesn't feel like it Feet um, about hip width apart, right hand, right thigh, left arm up, reach, reach, reach. If you're here, you have freedom. You can go any way you want with the arm, whatever feels good for you. 
But yeah, don't forget to compliment yourself as you compliment your friends, your family, random people online. You are enough too. So just remember that. It's just not worth not loving your body. And go ahead, left arm on that left thigh. Little teapot it back up. Let's go the other side. This side's definitely tighter for me. So listen to your body. Don't push too far. Breathe. We are the creators of our canvas. That's beautiful. Whew. And right hand, little teapot it back up. We got one more stretch, guys. Yay! All right, let's clasp the hands in front. Most important stretch of them all. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Push, 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 push. We are done for today. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you could like the video before you go, if you want to leave a comment too. I also have super chats um, on the thing if you want to support my channel or a link in my description that says support my channel with a black arrow and a link. Yeah. Uh, anything and everything helps. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for joining me. Let me know if you like this time, if you like uh, these types of workouts, if you, hello again, if you want me to um, start doing these at a different time, or if you're up for using dumbbells, because next time I'm thinking about using dumbbells. So, yay! Oh, thank you guys. I am now reading the comments. So, Sonia, Jamie, Audra, Frida, Liz, Ivy, Esther, Mr. Haas, <laughs> Fred, Benz, thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate you all so much. Um, yeah, I'm soaked too. Holy moly. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I'm so glad you can make it. I know you have like meetings back to back, but like it's an honor to have you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for donating. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that so much. Dumbbells. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dumbbells. Thank you, Clementine Diva. Thank you, Pan Am. Looking like my last life. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you so much, Pan Am. And thank you, Panda. Awesome. Okay, cool. So next week, it is decided. There's been three people, so uh, no one should know. So we're going to do dumbbells next week. It'll be full body, cardio strength and abs. Yay. I'm excited. Okay, I'm just going to, I need to stop. I need to stop. Andrew, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, let me know. And Leanne, oh, I love when, when the family works out together. It's like, it's the superhero family, and I think that's beautiful. No, oh, thank you, Sonia. So, <sighs> kisses. Okay, I see you guys soon. Rawr, end stream. And